Hi, I'm Tom. I'm going to describe to you today on how to use the, the snout tool to drill your crankshaft flange for a harmonic balancer bolt on the 235, 261 inline 6, the 230, the 194, the 250 inline Chevy 6. This also works on the 283 and the 327 V8s from the 60s that do not have a, a hole drilled for your balancer bolt. So you're going to use a snout tool made by 12bolt.com and tools that you will need and I can provide those in a kit. You're going to need a 7 16 20 tap. Sorry about that, I'm holding it too high. You're going to need a, a W drill bit also supplied in the kit. A nice double edged drill bit. Something to measure with, it could be just a tape measure. You'll need a drill, of course. I prefer a half inch drill. You'll need safety glasses, and I use a tap driver myself. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this tool, and you see there's a keyway slot on your crankshaft. I want that keyway slot turned downward, so you turn the slot downward on your crankshaft. I'm not going to turn this one, but this key gets turned down and the reason for that is this does not seat all the way in to the engine completely it leaves a gap right here that gap is where the chips are gonna fall out as you're drilling so they don't come out here they come out right here they discharge straight down so you'll have your engine turned and it's gonna discharge straight down and not into your engine timing cover you can do this with the timing cover installed so you'll slide that onto your engine seat it in all the way Take your W drill bit, insert it into the tool, seat it. Use your piece of tape, this is what I like to use, a piece of tape. Measure from the back side of the drill bushing an inch and three quarter. You want to drill a pretty deep hole into that crankshaft. So go inch and three quarter, simply put the piece of tape on there, that's going to be your measuring stick as you're drilling your hole. So you're drilling the hole down into it until your, your tape touches on your drill bushing and you've then drilled far enough into the crankshaft. So you, you put your drill on and you'll run it into the, into the crankshaft. That's going to take you a little while because crankshafts are not real soft. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your tap, put it into your drill, your, your tap holder, and you're simply going to tap that crankshaft. Do not run your tap straight into the crank. It is hard. So you'll turn it in. Usually I go about half turn and then reverse. And then half turn further, reverse. Use a little bit of cutting oil as you're going. After you're done, you're going to have a tapped crankshaft that you'll be able to use your harmonic balancer installation tool to fit into that to pull your balancer on the engine. And you'll also be able to use that same bolt to retain your balancer onto the engine. Uh, one tip from Tom. When you're putting on your balancer, people always forget to do this use a little bit of sealant on the inside hub of that balancer because that is a leak point. Oil will travel along the edge of the crank and the balancer along the key and leak out your front of your balancer. People miss that. So put a little black, ultra black sealant on that. That's it. Talk to you later.